What's going on YouTube? I got a different type of video for you guys today regarding uh, my eBay listings that are going to be going up. Before we get into that, real quick shout out, a big, big thanks, Ohio One Treasure Hunter. Uh, she mentioned me in her video today and really I got I to gotta say, it, it's really awesome uh, what we have here on YouTube and the community that we have and the pickers and the storage auction people and just the resellers, just everybody in general. Um, it's really good to be able to reach out to certain people, learn from other people, um, and a lot of times, you know, I, I'm not going to know something that you're going to know, vice versa. Uh, and we're not even in the same state a lot of times, sometimes not even the same country. So I wanted to, to mention that, but also show you guys a couple things um, that I just don't know about, you know. Uh, one being here, if you watched Ohio One's uh, video today, she was talking about cookbooks. That got me thinking, uh, this book of salads. I don't know if you've guys seen this before. Edgewater Beach Hotel. Monthly Press. I want to say it's from like 1926. Um, actually, there was something that was in this. Uh, this guy right here. This I thought was cool. Season 1945, it looks like a room card, or uh, I, I don't know what it is, but I, oh, it must be shown to the entrance of the dining room, okay. Um, I, I've always liked that. This, I, I'm, I'll probably end up keeping this. The book, I don't know. Um, but it's just cool that they, they kind of go together. Second thing I wanted to show you is this little guy right here. Now, obviously, it looks like uh, the deer that we all know and uh, watched probably growing up, but... Uh, this little guy, I don't know if it is Bambi or not. I don't know really anything about it. I can't find any markings or anything. It's kind of beat up a little bit. Uh, when I was cleaning out a unit, I, I happened to stumble across, stumble across it. Um, and it just looked different to me. It stuck out, so I decided to keep it. You know. Um, second thing I wanted to show you was this guy right here. It's a United States Marine Corps ring. Um... Tun Tavern on one side and Iwo Jima on the other. Don't know anything about that. Hopefully someone out there can help me. Um, I don't think it's gold. I think it's uh, gold plated. Second thing. Uh, it's actually two things. This Harper's Weekly. Right here. New York, Saturday, July 6, 1861. It actually came like this in this plastic thing. Um, generally what I've heard is paper's really aren't worth much at all unless it's something major um, and I even have a box right here of old papers that came out of a unit you know different cities and stuff December 26 1937 is that one right there I mean, as you guys can see I got a whole box of this so again with the papers you know if anybody can help out let me know you know I don't know anything about you know newspapers or anything like that um, these three four items right here this being the first one, you guys saw this actually in my first video I made. Uh, this is the junk drawer lot that I'm going to be putting up here. Um, probably not tonight. We'll see. You know, I generally like to do everything on Sunday nights. If that doesn't happen Monday, uh, if it's not Sunday or Monday, I don't post it. You know, I wait a week. That's just me. Uh, the second lot I came up with is a golf lot. Um, I got this stuff right here. There's a bunch of... Uh, Divot repair, tools, golf balls, Tiger Woods card. Um, again, this is all going to go into a lot. Uh, I'm trying the junk drawer lots out just to see how it goes. Uh, a lot of this stuff I don't even care about, really. I mean, um, that's why I don't mind just you know letting go in one shot. It's clearing out some clutter in my in my room here. Um, so that's that. This one right here, again, this one will be the cigar lot, so to speak. Got some different cutters in here, some cases. Some are brand new. Let's see if I could. Nah, he doesn't want to come out. Um, anyway, so that's the, the third lot I'm going to be doing. Um, the cigar lot. This guy right here, I took a bunch of you guys' feedback. I, I slept on it. Uh, I'm going to be doing the jewelry in a totally different lot than the first lot that you guys saw. So we'll see how that goes. Um... Check out the second half of this video. I hope you guys like it. And uh, that's it. I'll see you in a sec.
Hey guys, hopefully this comes out okay. What I want to attempt to do here is kind of like a director's cut, behind the scenes, bonus feature, I don't know what, when you kind of see what's going on and, you know, you have the director talking in the background, uh, talking about each scene and each shot, but anyway, it's just a YouTube video. I really wanted to show you guys kind of how I post my eBay listings, although how I'm doing it right now is pretty different. I generally like to go outside and take my pictures. I do all my pictures on my phone, my cell phone. Um, and for some reason, it, it takes really, really good pictures outside. Unfortunately, I guess we have some killer bees going on outside or, or swarm of bees or something, so I had to stay indoors. Um, you see my son right there helping me. He's two and a half years old. Uh, he ended up taking the magnifying glass, and which I happily gave to him. So that's not going to be in the lot anymore. He now owns that magnifying glass. Um, but what you're seeing now is just the jewelry. I decided to do the jewelry in a separate lot after sleeping on it, after you know hearing a lot of feedback and comments. Uh, talking with some friends, it just I just felt it was better that I, I separate the jewelry. I may get someone, and this I could be superstitious, I don't know, but I may get somebody who wants that jewelry, who won't bid on the listing because they don't want the Game Boy, they don't want the camera, they don't want you know all the other stuff. They just want the the jewelry portion. So um, right now I'm using my wife's camera. I'm sorry, my wife's phone on the camera and I'm recording this with my phone. I kind of set up a little uh, bootleg stand up there, and there's my son. He's taking his pictures, too. We gave him a, a digital camera. Um, he generally likes to help out, you know, and, and I don't mind it. It's good. We get to spend time together, uh, you know. So that rig right there is is kind of, I don't know, I don't really like it holding it up there. So I ended up... Uh, cutting that and uh, taking a break, eating dinner, and uh, going to the next shot. So, upgraded. I ended up going to the store, getting better lights. Uh, I'm sorry, more lights, I should say. I'm doing the junk drawer a lot right now. One thing I wanted to point out, if you notice in the back, there's a big pink sign that says, all clothes $1, all shoes $2. Uh, when we have our, our yard sales and garage sales, which is rare, uh, we do massive, massive sales. But the point about that sign is in one of my videos I was talking about uh, cell phone stores and wireless stores getting, you know, boxes and packing material. That sign is a retail sign. It's called the lollipop sign. I actually got that from one of the cell phone stores. They were just going to chuck it. So I said, hey, why not? You know, let me have it. I'm sure I can find a use for it. And I surely did. And we just bought some poster board and you know, stuck it in there. So the shelving that you see uh, came out of a storage unit. I got tons of that shelving. I try to be as organized as possible. On um, the other side of that, you really can't see is, is more shelving with more stuff on it. Um, we do a lot of stuff on Amazon also. You know, a lot of the books, you know, I do on Amazon. I also have another website that I do books on. You know, certain stuff I do Amazon. A lot of stuff I'm starting to do eBay. Um, right there, actually, where you see the poster board, uh, I got an idea, and, and you know, maybe I'll show you a picture, guys, or maybe you can check out the listing later. But you know, spur of the moment, had an idea, take some bright green poster board, take a black sharpie, write down. Uh, I forget what I wrote. It was like, wow, awesome lot, or huge lot, or something like that. So, um, you know, that's generally how, how I'm doing it right now. Uh, you know, I'm starting to get into eBay more and more. I shared it with a few of you, but I sold a pair of sunglasses out of a unit for $595. Uh, I, I don't even know. I want to say the unit either cost that or a little below that, so everything else in that was gravy now. I do have to say, it's not every day that that happens. You know, I don't find those type of items all the time, so I just want to make that clear. But that's what really, really got me hooked into eBay, um, especially you know, the collectibles and things like that that's been really just taking up shelf space. So anyway, uh, I'm doing the golf lot right now, but I do have to cut this video short because uh, my battery died on the on the uh, video, which you're about to see. It's going to cut out here soon. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome weekend, and I uh, hope you enjoy.